with a Thor thermal imager, when you receive it, take it out of the packaging. On the side, you'll see a large circular compartment. Undo this, and that's where you'll place your batteries. Batteries go positive end facing out, and then you'll insert that into the Thor unit. Once that's threaded and in place, take your eyepiece and mount it to your eyepiece housing, like so. You should spin freely. Then take the Thor unit and mount it to your rifle where you typically mount your day scope. Make sure it's locked in place, close the lever. When it comes time to sight in your thermal imager, one of the things you'll notice is that you're not gonna be able to use a typical target. You're gonna have to have something that's either hot or cold to distinguish a point of aim. We suggest using either hot hands or a cold compress that you can take into the field and staple or tape to your target. So you have a defined point of aim. One of the things that'll be a lot easier too is if you have a partner to call it your corrections. If not, keep a spotting scope or some binoculars handy so you can look and see where your impacts are. These are the best ways to get your device on target quickly.